Welcome back everybody to another NASCAR Heat 5 career mode episode. Today and off to Brist Bristol um, where, where I applied the people. We've got um, the Speedway trucks being prepped for Las Vegas in the next race. And then Super Speedway at Talladega. Um, getting that truck prepped as well. Uh, we have a maxed out truck here for Bristol. So let me jump into qualifying here a second. And looks like we're going for a top 10. So should be the last race in the round of 10. So we'll see what we can do there. Alrighty. Theoretically, you should have a very good truck here for this track with having uh, one of the best trucks that we could possibly have. Again, there's a few little improvements, like in the um, aero department all the way up to 100. But besides that, we are sitting pretty for eight one thousandths off the goal time puts us on 11th um, and certainly was not the best lap I could have put in so we're heading off here um, with where we're at in um, the playoffs and that whole scenario we got the win Last, um, last episode, okay, the truck is tight, um, just probably focus up here, especially since we're going to have probably one pit stop all day, I should try to keep the truck clean, okay, or it's not going to... I need to find a rhythm here and quit hitting the wall. Looking inside now. Let's see here. Yes, so last episode we were able to get the win and advance um, into the next round automatically. That was a terrible lap. I don't know what you're talking about. I need to get focused up here. Um, so we are good for this round. Don't really need to worry about any placement except for um, the in some contract in that top 10. Um, don't need to worry about being ahead of anybody or anything like that at this point Excellent. now next race yes we'll certainly need to worry about that um, as we'll start the round of eight um, however at this point no need to worry because um, we are through to the next round so um, now in our next race, um, again, the same rules apply. You win and you're into the next round automatically. Uh, we've got car blowing up up here. We have some slow trucks. Maybe I can make it back to we're back to our starting position. So that's something. Let's see what can I do. Can I get to the top 10? Please. Be nice. Um, so looking to have a good result at either Las Vegas or Talladega. You should have some decent um, trucks for both. 
but then um, from there if I can get win there we are taking a speedway truck to Martinsville saving um, a really good truck for um, our final race of the season at Phoenix is going to go for the championship especially if we can get um, the win at um, at some point throughout the round of eight will allow me to have a good shot at the championship so just miss out on some stage points there but all good we're not really worried about those at this point no one else is pitting. We probably can't make it on fuel then from here if we pit. So we're sending decent in 11th. Just need to stay consistent. Um, we've got some laps we can kind of use that to help us um, form a plan going forward. I know I need to start entering on the bottom, kind of using that diamond technique in order to make it through the corners. Using some brake for sure. We're three wide. We were never three wide, but okay. Um, so, don't spin on the apron. That would not be good. Keep moving here. Just kind of, I'm not very good up at the top. I don't remember if I was or not last time, but um, that's when I was making a whole bunch of mistakes and stuff. Maybe we'll run up there a little bit later once I get more comfortable with the rhythm of the track and that sort of stuff again. But um, for now, we're just from the bottom. It's working well for us. We're making up some spots here um, early. And, and now we're about halfway through stage two already. Um, tire wear is looking pretty even overall. Ran that middle line there, and is, yeah, I got people enter on the bottom, forced me to slow down a little bit more, and then I get a better exit off. I'm not up top at all, really. Solder cut down right in front of me. I thought he was going to leave the door open. Had to slam on the brakes, got a little bit loose. But it's all good. Nothing happened from it. Definitely tell the tires are starting to wear. Um, not driving nearly as good anymore. But we. Should be able to easily, uh, if we keep driving like this, we shouldn't have any problem in the last stage, I wouldn't think, um, with uh, making it to the end of the race on um, the set of tires that we're going to be on. Then we're going to, we're going to pit at the end of the stage get fresh tires that sort of thing um, get loaded with fuel up to fifth here tires really seem to be an advantage to us here late in the going get the fifth and it'll be it'll be interesting to see what we can do here and everyone's going to be putting we do have to Do we want repair damage? Yeah, I think we do. Um, no, it's just going to come back. Let's run into people. We're up three spots. Mike Harmon did not pit, so that's very interesting. We're going to try to gas up around the outside of him here on the restart. Let's see if that's going to work. Here's it is. And now we kind of see what we can do. We've got, 
got 20 laps to go. That's about how long we had on our tires previously between the other two stages. I thought Matt Crafton had had an... Oh, it's end finger, that's why. I was going to say, I thought Crafton had a um, tire problem and had to pit, and he did, but it's end finger. They have very similar um, cars and number designs as far as like the track map goes. I could never see a nine with when he was running right behind me, but he is very fast. We got, I think that's Johnny Sauter, Lewis, no, it's Ben Rhodes. Um, so it's going to kind of let him by. Try to fall into a rhythm, maybe um, run these guys down later in the run. Again, out of those tires where, um, yeah, we'll just have to kind of see. We got 16 laps left to go in the race. And it's just going to be about consistency, really, more than anything. Um, knowing when to um, start implementing some more brake, a lot of the cars slow down enough, that sort of thing. So um, we'll see how everything turns out. Not smacking the wall, that's going to be very important. Because now I've allowed. The group behind me, who is doing a decent job of staying away from, has caught up to me. Nope, ran too high. 13 laps left. I don't like that move right there. Or that one there. Thank you so much for doing that. I think Johnny Sauter is the other one with the win, so I don't know why he's in such a rush, but oh well. Got a car low now. Just going to stop doing that. They try to make moves at really weird times. I mean, I know it's Bristol, but still, you're not even in the playoffs. Uh, he's going to move me up to third lane to that corner. I couldn't go low. I was going to block him off. But, alright, we'll see. If we can fall back into a rhythm. We've got a good gap back to the group behind us here. Nothing to really worry about unless I have a major mistake. Kind of like that. Lost a lot of time from that. See, again, tire wear is looking really good here so far. Eight laps to go. Uh, I'm going to guess that's Mike Harmon back here. I'm guessing he had the pit for fuel. Maybe not, but very likely possibility there. Um. Yep, it very much is. He's down last. I'm guessing Matt Crafton's probably in last with that problem he initially had. Also with the fact that um, Harmon probably pit at the end of stage one probably means he's on the oldest tires. We may get caution here though. There's appears that someone's blowing up. Definitely going to check people up. Gain the spot out of it, at least. Brought us back to the people we were kind of racing around, but not much besides that. Got four laps to go. See if we can hang on to a fifth place finish. I feel like that's a fairly solid day for how the truck is driven overall here. Three laps to go. I'm overdriving all these corners.
looks like we got some more lap traffic up here. Um, Rhodes is back down to fourth. He was in second for a while, I think. The car blowing up and stuff like that really pulled him back quite a bit. It doesn't seem to be navigating lap traffic the best. Last lap of the race. I thought there was someone blowing a tire there. I got really worried. Not quite close enough, though he did stomp on the brakes there at the end. Fifth place. Um, really solid there. Let's move to the round of eight now. Go to Las Vegas and Talladega. See what we can do at those tracks. Hopefully secure a win at one of those tracks and advance to the championship four. Advancing to the round of eight. Um, fifth place gets me $42,000. Hopefully I get a decent amount of savings here. I'll take that. Um, need to get that. Um, ready for hopefully Phoenix. Well, really, it's when you go to Phoenix. Um, not bring it to Burnsville. Got some compliments from people. Um, so, let's see here. We got a hot seat race to do as well. I actually wasn't really expecting one of those with um, being into the playoffs and stuff. Apparently. We do have that as well, so we'll have to see. I think that's going to be at Las Vegas as well. Not mean to go into that. I got the talking. Come on, let me back out. Thank you. Um, simulate here. Let's see what we can do. Simulate. That's actually very surprising with that car. Um, sixth place, sloppy driving, expected. Um, let's see here. Las Vegas, Talladega, Martinsville, and Phoenix. You know what? I like the payout of four top fives in four races. Let's prep the truck. Even if we don't get a win, it's going to be important to stay consistent um, over the next few weeks. So definitely need to be working on that. I need to assign someone to the Arrow for the Super Speedway. And that is not going to be ready in time. We need to get an upgrade or two on this guy before we get ready in time. Go ahead and do that. He's going to be working full time on that truck for the next couple of weeks. We can get Arrow on the short track car at a later time. Let's get. Um, really, we have. No, never mind. I was going to say there's really two trucks that we can take, but no, there's not. Um, start the work. I will. Head off to qualifying and then we'll jump right into the race. Go, go, go. Let's see what sort of speed we have for Las Vegas. We've got a lot of experience here. We've got our best truck that we've ever brought here. Um, should have plenty of speed and we should have the setup just about dialed for what we need it to be. So we'll see what sort of um, run we can have here. Hopefully, a win. We've been um, somewhat successful at some of these um, intermediate tracks. Not dominant, per se, but we've had some mild success at them. Um, and then, if we don't get the win here, it says it's up for Talladega. It's not out of the question. I think it's just a lot harder of a win than it's going to be for this race. So we'll have to see 
where we come across the line, that's not a good lap, is it? Six tenths off. Puts me in 13th. Honestly, that's not too bad. I think we can... Um, I think we can survive here. So starting in 12th. And let's see... What sort of speed we actually have in the race. Compared to the trucks around us. We've got the 100... Um, overall engine... I'd like to move to the bottom here. Thank you. Keeping it full throttle. Already making some moves, trying to move up in the field. Again, stage points are going to be important as well since we are still fighting to move on to the next round. I didn't even think about who we're fighting or where we're at on the leaderboards. So just need to focus on Gain as many points as we can. I think we're fine. We've got, um, what, three wins on the season? So, um, we should be good theoretically. We've got plenty of playoff points, but it's going, the end race results are going to matter as well. Can't just survive based on playoff points in these races. So, um, right now I'm feeling like we've got speed we're hanging with the top two here now I don't feel like we're necessarily the fastest car in the draft I think we are but I suppose we'll see here where the trucks really at in terms of speed okay maybe not Need tires to wear evenly. Then maybe we can get a look. We're also going to have to do. It's going to come down to I probably a late race restart if I had to guess. That's what it's going to end up being. So it's going to be interesting to see here. In stage two um, as long as we get as long as we make it our way up towards the front or we start up near the front in stage two what a restart looks like how long we can hang on to the lead since I presume we can pull away a little bit um, but we'll have to see here Crafton is able to pull away some here. I'm trying to block both lanes. That didn't work. No caution. Okay, he's just going to pull away with everything. Or is that end finger? That's end finger, isn't it? Yep, I've been calling him Crafton. Oh well. Um, end finger has runs the high line. That's kind of an odd uh, choice there and I slid up that's going to lose me my spots here Crafton's right up here as well um fourth pretty happy with that I wish I could have stuck it to the bottom better there out of the last corner but um pitting let's go up click on the wedge get that tire wear even out just a little bit more um no damage puts us in the lead and like i said this is going to end up being kind of an experiment in a way um seeing what we can do in terms of a restart we've got seven laps in this stage so in a restart scenario at the end of the race, with two or three to go, this is going to be our test to see what we can do. Guess we can also get another test done in the beginning of stage three, assuming that we're still up at the front, which I sure hope to be. But um, okay, so we're good for the first lap. Very nice, very nice. 
Just need to be consistent. Ran a little high there, but it's all right. Bumps in one and two got to me there a little bit. I think it's going to be especially important to seeing how the speed of the truck is towards the end of a run. Um, how it compares to that of the AI, because um, I tend to struggle a little bit towards the end of a run across all tracks. So we'll see what happens here. Right now, holding pretty steady. And I am quite liking that. We'll have to see. We've held a pretty steady gap based on what I can tell in the rear view mirror for the first three laps. Now there is cars quickly approaching. I think that's Stuart Friesen coming up to, no, it's Austin Hill making his way up here. Um, it looks like stuff is at least somewhat spread out here right now. No clumps. We get a caution here. So I was going to hang on for four or five laps. We get a caution there. End the stage. Um, actually, I'm going to go up just one more click on the wedge. Try to get things balanced out a little bit. Um, let's see here what we can do. We've got how many laps? We've got 20 laps left in the race. Got 12 laps on fuel. So again, just consistency is what's going to matter here. Um... Hopefully the caution falls at a point where um, I'm not really having to worry about what's the right call. Um, I'd prefer strategy not to get in the way of this. Um, but I suppose we'll have to see here. When I guess when I'm not doing well, I like to have opportunities for strategy when I'm doing well in a situation such as this. Um, I really prefer no strategy, just plain and simple. You do this because it's the only smart thing to do. Type of racing. Um, but We'll have to just kind of see here. We've not run a full fuel run. Um, or even really close to a full fuel run. We've had um, a six lap run. So it'll be interesting to see how the truck handles at the end of such a run. We've held the lead for um, three laps now. We will have to see what is going to happen here late in the race. Um, it's Johnny Sauter here who's driven up to us. Um, not actually able to compete in straight line speed, so it gives me some hope. I think it's somewhat our handling that is costing us some speed speed here and the corners specifically um, and I could fight that off a little bit more if I had to coming down to the wire so I'd say I'm good to hold a restart for three or four laps um, anything more is probably a bit of a stretch um, so we're just going to kind of ride here for now we know we're likely to get a caution um, before the end of this thing, so I'm not worried about those guys kind of driving off. Now, I am kind of concerned with the amount of speed that they have compared to what I have in the current stage of the race. Um, but we'll see here. Uh, 
It would help if I quit getting on the apron and such. Going through the corners, quit getting all loose. Um, drop in behind end finger here. Got 14 laps to go. Can almost get. We're almost. Really, we're to the point where if the caution comes out, we can make it to the end of the race now. On fuel. But I'd prefer it to. Like usual, I'd prefer to go long on this run. Um, lose some spots here. Make him up on pit road and on the restart, rather than um, having to go super long at the end of the race. Cause that, I mean, the same process is going to repeat itself. We never seem to have a good long run. Um, yeah, except for the truck. Um, so, it's very squirrely right now. We're going to have to run the high line here. This crafting gets below us. I'd like to try to... Hang on to sixth here. I don't think I've ever made up more than uh, five positions on just normal pit stop. I suppose we'll see here. Um, though that slide and hitting the wall was not ideal for anything at all. What maybe scares me more than anything is the fact that we may actually have to make um, some green flake pit stops here. Um, 18% going down in 3 and 4. I'm going to have to pay attention to that. Going into next lap. I know we don't have much left on fuel. I'm thinking it's got to be this time that I go in. Um... 18. Okay, there's others pitting as well. Looks like everyone's pitting. Yeah, I think we gotta come in here. Watch your speed, please. Lost some time getting on the pit road, but it's all good. Um. Up just a little bit more on the wedge. Try to get the tire wear more even. Grand, some of the slides and stuff didn't help that. But hopefully the pit crew will come in clutch, especially under green flag pit stops. I know I wasn't the quickest game on the pit road, but hopefully there's something there. Maybe I should have taken the damage repair off. That would probably help this pit time as well. Okay, there's Sauter, there's Gilland who passed me, and I don't like where this is at currently. We need an excellent run off of Pit Road. But as it stands right now, I don't like where we're at compared to everyone else. I know there's still others that have to pit and stuff like that as well, but um, there's a big gap up to first and second layer, or provisional first and second. Obviously, nothing's quite panned out quite yet. I need to try to make up spots here early. That's also going to be difficult, so... Um, I think it'll also be interesting to see if we get a caution. Does anyone pit? Lap. Got seven laps left. It's a great lap there. Still there. Making our way back up through some of these cars or trucks. Um, 
while the tires are fresh. Again, I don't think I'm going to be able to hold these. If we don't get caution, there's no way I'm holding these um, places for the rest of the race once the tires wear. But we are very fast at the beginning of these runs on fresh tires. So I have that going for me. Pulling up to Crafton. There's no way I'm catching those top two, I don't think. But um, Crafton is running such a weird line. He's entering in the middle lane and then cutting it down to the lower lane. Not helping me out by any means. Got five laps to go. Are we finally um, going to get a third stage where there's no caution? I think it's happened once or twice before in this series, but still. Um, I was not expecting this at this track. I had this whole big elaborate plan and now it's not appearing to pan out. We've got four laps to go, so can still get a caution in here, but not likely. I think the tires are starting to go here. Here's where I'm going to start to lose time. Got to run on Crafton. Going to try and make a move. Nope, tires won't allow me. I was going to slide up. So may have to settle for fourth or fifth place here got three laps to go if we get a caution here and into restart I'd say I have a very I have a very good chance now my only problem is they are pitting I want to guess they're going to go with um, two tires but I don't like how the truck feels on two tires so I'm not pitting a lot of other people did not as well so I think we've got a good buffer to any fresh tires here let's just go for the last two laps see what sort of pace we have compared to crafting on worn tires not on any fresh tires so it's going to be on raw restart speed. I really don't expect to be able to pull away at all. Because um, my coring speed is not going to be nearly the same as it would be on the other restarts that we've had. But we've got just one lap to go. And this is going to be very difficult to try to go for the win. Crafton's going to have that outside of where he's been running well. Keep it to the bottom, keep it to the bottom. Okay, we're on the back straight. If I can keep it on the bottom, I have a chance here. If I can't keep it on the bottom, that's going to open up the door for chest stain. And I'm not going to be able to win. I'm going to get second or third. I'm going to get second at Las Vegas. Very, very close. I get spun going across the finish line. And quite action packed, that really. But um, not quite able to get done. Just if I would have kept it on the bottom there, um, I would have been able to win it. But I couldn't. It was either check up. Got to throw a little bit, stay on the bottom, and let Crafting go by around the outside, I think, or let Chastain by on the bottom. So, um, let's move back to the main menu, and we got an Xfinity race, and then Talladega as well. Second place gets me sixty-six thousand um, dollars, and smooth driving, very nice there. And we got one of the four top fives that we need. We are at Las Vegas in the Xfinity series. Let me jump in, put a custom setup in, and then jump into qualifying. 
Alrighty, so here we have the custom setup. Again, link is in the description down below on uh, where I get these. I went up an extra 10 clicks on the wedge. So let's go ahead and save that. Back out, head to some qualifying here. Um, okay, apparently some very low gearing. But um, one of the interesting things about the setup is the um, track bars are all the way maxed out. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. Overall, doesn't feel too shabby at the moment though. So, um, definitely a lot different than what the trucks felt like. But we'll have to see here. Okay, I may have spoken too soon. We're still getting up to speed. It's definitely got a unique feel, but I don't know if it feels um, really any better than what the trucks did. Let's see what we can do here. That was a much better corner. That was a very solid corner, I'd say. Puts us at a 31 8. 24th? Need to get a 20th? Not too shabby. Um, let's head off to this one. Starting in 23rd as well. So, see what we can do here. Got 10 left in stage one. It takes us forever to get through the gears here. But we're going to make it work. Stay low. Maybe. Considering I have... It says I'm in the draft, but I don't Stay low. Stay low. feel it, if I'm being honest. Lifting slightly through the center. Alrighty. Let's pay attention to some tire wear. See if we're going to need to make any adjustments uh, during pit stops, stuff like that. I already drove that corner a bit. Um, so Gregson's going to get back down the inside of us. Okay, we're all good here. Yeah, I think I'm driving it in just a little too deep here, not able to hold the bottom. But I'm getting some great runs off the corners. Unfortunately, let's back out early here, turn back down, um, and put me in a three wide situation there. Wasn't going to try to do that. Um, no real amounts of a run at the moment though, which is kind of unfortunate, but let's see here. Got seven laps to go, still on the stage. Tire wear looks very nice here so far. Back to the throttle. Looking good. Um, I just gotta figure out where to... I have to get out of the gas a little bit earlier. And probably actually a little bit longer than I'd like. It's against the wall there. Um, Got a car high now. wow, those guys came up quick. Got a car low now. All right, you're clear. I wouldn't say we're in a bad spot here, but I don't, I don't feel the speed in the car to be able to push it up to, clear. um, that top 20, really. I mean, yes, it's nice to be running, um, in the top 25 or so and stuff like that but in terms of holding speed with um, the top 20 where my goal position is I just don't see it happening especially later in the run so even my restart wasn't that good so um, 
guess we'll see here. We could probably make it through stage two if I pit it now. But not worth the risk. Not pit in here. Um, try to make up some positions and then make up some more on pit road. But we'll see here. Okay, I need, we've got two go left in the stage. I was trying to get underneath Williams, but... Okay, instead we give him a push that sends him down the... And he just gained two positions, thanks to us. So I guess you're welcome. Um... There's just no speed, and now it's starting not to turn. Um, and now I'm getting trained. Okay, it matters a lot more getting into the wall. And the series than it did with the trucks, for sure. You hit the wall at all, and you're going backwards quite quickly. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Middle lane. Does it give me enough? Nope, doesn't give me enough to run off the corner to get to 33rd. So, 34th. Oh, we're almost at the back of the pack. Well, we've got a pit here. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and pit here. And head into stage two. Back down to 35th somehow. I'm not sure how that happens Don't either. Be ready here. But we'll see what we can do on a restart here. Um, though I'm not really sure. Our last on track um, so we'll see, at the end of that last round, it didn't even seem like we had pace to compete with the back of the pack, so, um, we'll have to see how the car behaves, um, in, well, in this air, how it reacts back here, how the tires end up being stupid bumps, really upset the car. Um, up to 30th, so up five places. Got on the apron there a little bit, that's going to send me up the track. Just barely kept it off the wall there. Continuing to move forward. Um, I'm not going to touch the top 20 at all during this run. More than likely, we're going to start fading back here soon. But hopefully, we can try to f figure out a way to get up there. I'm not sure if there's much I can do, though. So get on the apron there again. Gotta get out of throttle. So I don't smack the wall. Keep moving. Seven laps to go still here on the stage. These are just going to be brutal races. Well, not necessarily brutal. This race in particular is just going to be brutal. So we don't really have the speed. And it's just a little bit... It's just enough longer than the truck series races um grand these cautions in the middle of the stages are helping but um i've got to come away better from this one than i did last time same starting position from the restart last stage to this one but um we'll have to see if we can make anything work better um, in a better position already. 
I suppose. So we're able to get the run off as long as I don't hit the wall. Thank you. Block the run. Three laps to go. End the stage. Tire wear. Pretty superb at the moment. But I get to this point in the run where the tires are worn and you're just kind of hanging behind a car or two and you just kind of stay stagnant with where you are compared to them. So that's what really worries me is if we don't make up the positions early in the run, um, there's no way I'm getting that top 20 because eventually I'll just start training back as well especially when they make stupid moves like that and I get the car loose that one wasn't even my fault he had plenty of time to avoid me but um okay I guess we'll head off to Talladega now um, there's nothing I could do there. I was just trying to keep it from hitting the wall and crashes just hits me head on, so. Unfortunate there, but it's all good. We already have an offer from a four-star ride for next season, which is all great. We're going to definitely take... Um, probably that four star ride. Definitely not going to have enough cash sitting around. Um, with trying to compete for the championship on the trucks. Um, there's not going to be any extra cash to start. And it's funny, right? So we'll run a season, maybe two, and um, four or five star ride in the Xfinity series, and then move to our own team. But now we are off to Talladega, where we are going to have you know, throw this person on there, throw him on there, get that one all ready for the short tracks. Again, we're going to be very fast at the super speedway. That should help us out some. Um, and then. We can also max out one of these Speedway cars as well. Granted, we're going to lose some of that rating based on the fact that we're bringing a Speedway car or truck to a short track. That'll be all good. Let's start the work here. Bring our best Super Speedway truck to Talladega, see what we can do there. We jump into qualifying. Go, go, go. Now, usually I don't qualify for super speedways, or I haven't. I don't think the last couple. But this is going to be an important race. We're in the playoffs. We have to at least give ourselves a chance of starting a little bit higher up in the field. So that we have a better chance at stage points, for instance, as well as um, the win at the end of the race. So, um, with regards to the standings, I forgot to go over those after Las Vegas. We are only eight points above the cut line, currently sitting in third in the standings. Um, but there's some major players sitting below that cut line that could put us right on the bubble. Such as Grant and Finger, um, and I'm trying to think of who else was on the, um, below that cut line. There's a few other drivers that really all of us contend each week towards the top of the order 
but Grant and Finger for one, he already had a win in the last round of the playoffs, so he could be very hard to keep out of the Final Four. Um, I believe he's got, maybe he doesn't have a couple wins. I feel like he's got a couple wins this season as well. So we'll have to see what he brings to Talladega here. Six tenths off on my first lap. I mean, I can't do much better than that, I don't think. I'm running as low as I can, taking the shortest path around here. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do there in order to make up six tenths. Yes, I get that's for a top five, but it's going, I'm going to guess I'm starting about 15th um, with that time, unfortunately. I wish the, I guess the arrow, if that were a little bit better, the suspension doesn't really matter at the super speedways as much. That's a little bit better. All the way back in 26th. That is not good. I thought I'd be up further than that, but um, starting in 25th, just going to have to draft our way up towards the front. We're going green. Try, Almost we're just ready. sticking it to the bottom. Hopefully we can move quick enough that we can try pick up some stage points. Um, early here, because that's going to be important is getting as many stage points as possible that's really going to help us in terms of the overall um, standings and the playoffs a push would be nice but I think that's a rival behind us but we've got a massive run here off that corner let's I tried to go for the move too early dropping back behind white um, be nice if I could get some by a push from behind as well. I'm going to pull a little bit of an illegal move there. That's not code into the game. Um, so I had to get out of the gas there a little bit. I did not want to get to the outside of Gilliland. No siree, we're sticking it to the bottom. Nothing else. I believe that's Rooch. You got to our outside kind of was wailing on the truck a little bit. We are multiple trucks wide. Uh, I think we were four wide at one point there. But I've got uh, positions to make up. I've got to move. I need to stay in the draft here. Thank you, Chastain. Oh, you should have gone for the move. I will have gone for the move, but of course that's me. Got two to go here left in the stage. Hoping to pick up some stage points here. Um, particularly on some of these guys that we're fine for or fighting against. Hopefully, I'd like to put some points up over Enfinger as he is that driver right on the bubble. But, we'll have to see here if I can get to the inside of Chastain. Nope, he's going to close the door just too early. Um, see what we can do here. Okay, we get a single stage point. Apparently there's a wreck or something back behind us. We get a single stage point. Um, with Sauter. Who do we got? I think Anderson's in. Self is in. Um, Friesen is definitely in. And he may have been below the cut line. Um, I believe Smith is out actually despite how good he runs um, so 
pit here. We're just mainly getting tires. Let's. Or not tires, we're mostly in fuel. Gain four spots. I need to get to the bottom here. And. Want we'll to see how good of a jump we get here. Actually, we're going to go middle. We've got a huge jump here. We clear ourselves in the second place, and I'm just going to sit right here for now. Um, if I can, I'll try to go for the um, stage win. But ultimately, the points are going to be more important than the stage win. Need to guarantee myself that. And really, just having. Um, being able to finish the race is going to be more important than anything else I can do. So, um, stage points would be nice, but not necessary by any means. So. Um, we're just going to follow Remy here. For now, I'd like it if he would pull to the bottom, but apparently he won't. Um, I guess it's fine. I mean, nobody else is making a run on us. Okay, we're not doing that. Bye bye. We'll leave you out to dry there. Okay, you can go by freezing. Or are we going to test our blocking skills? I don't want to test my blocking skills for two laps. I'd like to practice it for like one lap, but alright. Does play on practice for later in the race, I suppose. Let's see here. Um, I don't anticipate needing tires. I guess that could change. Um, why are you going high? I'm going to keep it low. I'm going to start going three wide. Freezing just made one of the stupidest. Decisions in the book. Ooh, can I get a push here? I can because he's a rival. So maybe the only benefit to rivals is they'll actually push you while you're in the lead at super speedways. But, um, as we've seen, that's not always. Rivals aren't always a good thing. There's a lot more to it than getting the pushes at super speedways while you're in the lead but even your friends won't do that for you but I guess I say keep your friends closer and your enemies closer especially at super speedways I guess Ankrum's taking that to heart but alrighty I'm just blocking him it helps that he's actually pushing me because nobody else can really get a run with engine speed that we have. So, going to get 10 points here, get a stage point as well, or a playoff point. Um, let's see, we've got Ekas who is in the playoffs, and Finger Crafton. Um, Friesen dropped all the way back to 10th. So, lots of guys up here in the points, but we did do really well there. Honestly, I'd kind of like to just pull up in front of Ankrum and, if possible, just have him push me. Um, that was quite nice. I was able to just pull away. Can I do that? No, he's going to get... No, I'm not going to be able to do that. If he can clear and drop down, nope, he's going to get put too wide. So there goes my hopes of getting pushed by Ankrum for the rest of the race, but we can make it seven laps on fuel. 
And I wasn't paying attention. I don't know how many laps we have left. What? 12? 12. So, um, need to run fairly long here on fuel to be able to make it to the end. We've got Ekis behind us. And it looks like Endfinger behind him. Followed by, who's this dropping to the bottom? Is that Austin Hill? Or is that Friesen? That's Friesen. So, your top four is all playoff drivers currently. There's a weird check up there. I'm not sure what happened. I didn't do anything, I was just driving. Yes, Ankrum goes to the bottom, so you can come up here and push me. Please, and thank you. That would be amazing. I will quit wrecking you if you do that. Yes, come here. Come here. Yes, thank you. We love Ankrum. It's going to be a title of this video. We love Tyler Ankrum. Which is really hard to believe, but. Um, pushing me while I'm in the lead at a super speedway. That deserves a shout out, recognition, a ceasefire, and the turning each other. If he's happy to do that, you know. Um, I mean, I'm perfectly content to do that, but, um, yeah, just keep pushing me, especially since Ankrum's not a playoff driver either, um, it keeps one, another playoff driver out of the second best points paying spot, so um oh I let me get to my outside. Dang it. And now he's trying to turn me. I need to get clear of him here. He's driving me down onto the apron. Okay, no we do not love Tyler Ancrum. I'm turning right to keep the car straight, or to keep the truck straight. Careful, still there. Okay, if I could get a push right now, it'd be really nice. I'm not technically in the lead. Get me off the apron. Thank you. Okay, now everyone's passing this on the outside. If I can get the draft from Endfinger, maybe we'll get past them. Outside, outside. Okay, can I get a push from Chastain? That's going to help me if I can. I'm not. He's kind of pushing both of us. We're just kind of locked together right now. None of us, neither of us can. There we go. Came unlocked from him. Now whether that stays that way or not. Nope. Okay, he's in a different part of the truck now though. Okay, we're clear of him now. And... Okay, push us now. Nope. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. All right, All we'll right, just use the other trucks. Wow, that went on for a while. I drove like two or three laps like that. I didn't realize, because we're down to two laps of fuel. We can make it to the end of the race on a pit stop now. And this truck has a lot of speed. We basically drove back up to these two by ourselves.
Do I keep pushing here? I didn't mean to do that, Smith, sorry. We're going to push you to the lead rather than in finger. Especially since he's on the um, bubble. And I don't think he's going to be the one on the bubble. Leaders are? Perfect. We're going to come in with them. Um, fuel only. No, that's not what I wanted to happen. Back it down, back it down. Did I get a spin penalty? That's going to be really close. I was... If I didn't get a speeding penalty here, we are so lucky. We're, it was really close in terms of the speed. Nine. Nope, I think we did it right. I think we got away with it. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. You're clear on that was absolutely phenomenal. We've got five laps to go. I think we're actually going to have a really good lead here. Now my only worry here is I absolutely toasted the right, I should have taken two tires. I absolutely toasted the right front getting on the pit road. That is my only worry for the rest of this race. Um, is the fact that that thing may not make it to the end of the race and that could be really bad for me. Oh, do I pit here? No, because I'm going to have... It's going to cut down the length here and allow me to not have to run as long. I should be fine to make it here. Um, time with Jeske and Tyler. Ooh, if we can get up to... If we can get in front of Tyler Ancrum, allow him to push us, then I think we're good. Is it just me, or are there still pit road noises playing in the audio? It may just be me, but um, we've got two to go here. 34% on the right front. We should be fine to make it from here. I don't... There's definitely still pit road noises being played. Um, kind of going to drive me nuts. Unfortunately, without Anchorman up here, we're not going to get a push at all. Um, but we haven't really had a chance to practice this all race, but we're going to try blocking. We've got to go for the win for sure. Um, we've really got no other option. Just gotta watch for all their stupid dive bomb moves, stuff like that. And hope they don't get any massive runs that they're able to, um, make a move on us here. There's a run on the high side. Let's go cut that off. Kind of, not really. Okay, can you guys do the checkup thing like you did earlier in the race when I was leading and trying to block? Okay, we're still too wide. I think we can manage it. Coming through the tri oval. It's going to happen if we win at Talladega. And advance to the championship round of the playoffs. Huge win there. There's still pit road noises playing in the background. Let's bring it back to the main menu. This has been quite a long, action-packed episode. Um, lots of excitement, yeah. So let's bring it back to the main menu and wrap this up. First place gets me $52,000, and that actually kind of opens up another possibility here. Get huge savings here as well. Um, 
make a new friend technically here as well with that compliment. A possibility going into this next race. Let's get through this. Is the fact that we could possibly have enough money after um, Marnesville. Because I will still race that race next episode. I didn't mean to go. Or, there we go. I thought I'd gone into the race. I only need. What? $17,000 here to be able to make the last upgrade to the aero department, meaning that we could fully max out the uh, short track car for Phoenix. Um, here are the standings, I know I don't go over these very often. Sin and first atop of the standings as well. I have three stage wins so far in just this round alone. Um, no, that doesn't seem right. Must be overall. Um, and then Ross Chastain won at Las Vegas. Endfinger has moved 35 above the um, cut line before he was two points out then we've got Matt Crafton um, 24 to the good so the guys to be watching at Martinsville Endfinger, Crafton, Sauter, Friesen, Eckes, and Creed with Creed being pretty much out of it but we'll have to see what sort of race he has at Martinsville see if he can get enough points or win at Martinsville so that's going to be all for today guys Hope you enjoyed the very action-packed episode. Lots of battling, lots of drama. So, hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next one.